What's going on, everybody? It is week three of VBLS. Time to... Oops. Oops. <laughs> so, if you couldn't tell, we're going up against the Borealis Bear Ticks. Uh, your boy is back. Uh, better than ever. Uh, happy to see him back in the league. He is always a good coach to play. I've actually only ever played him once before, like, a long, long time ago. But, great coach, great personality. Happy to have him around, so... Uh, let's talk about his team and what I'll be doing to hopefully try to win this week. So we got the Borealis Bear Ticks right here. Um, they have a pretty wide range of speed tiers from 121 all the way down to 30. And they've got two good mons at both ends of it. Uh, so I think this team really, really relies on these two mons, uh, Tornadus and Cathagragus both, for uh, really any game this team's going to play. So uh, obviously Tornadus and Cathagragus are important because they both provide critical speed control. And this team's big attackers are all relatively mid-speed. So, uh, Rotom, Duraludon, Nidoqueen, and, uh, well, those are the big three that really need the, the speed control help. So, um, being able to have set Tailwind up and have them outspeed stuff, or have Tricker up and have them underspeed opponents fast stuff, uh, is really the name of the game for this squad. Uh, they do have Throw here, who's a great Trick Room on. Obviously, there's a couple issues with using throw against my team with all my ghosts and flying types. Um, and then on the faster end, there is Tauros, who's some, something on my radar. You could bring Scyther, but that's kind of crazy, especially when I have Blacephalon. Um, so, yeah, this team is pretty good. I don't... It was weird. Like, there's some times where there's a team that's just so overall well-rounded that, like, I don't have a good idea of what to do. And it, with this team, they're... It wasn't quite that. Like, there's obviously weak points to this team, right? Like, there's a pretty big fire weakness I'm going to take advantage of, or at least attempt to this week. Uh, no ghost resist, no dragon resist, very few dark resist is pretty nice. So, uh, I obviously have some places to start, but it's it was still pretty difficult to team build against it. But what I ended up going in on is just full on the pound the weaknesses as hard as I can, and hopefully just break through before they can get speed control, because my team is pretty fast, and if they are not allowed to play with the speed stats, I'm eventually, probably, <laughs> gonna come out on top of that. So, uh, that's the strategy here, just kill everything really fast, <laughs> but going about that was somewhat difficult, so we're talking about that in a little bit. Thankfully though, this team isn't quite like the last week, where they have nine tails for Aurora Veil. Uh, if they want to set screens up, which, I mean, light screen is really what you want against my team. Not so much Reflect. Reflect is nice, but light screen is the, uh, uh, the real coup de grace for, against my team. So they do have a couple options for that. Thankfully, none of them are that fast. Like, they're not faster than my special attackers, actually. So it could be a bit of an issue there. Um, and last thing here I have, I have War Turtle highlighted in red here, but that's just because I hadn't thought about it until after I had screen kept this. War Turtle is, like, the best mod against Placephalon ever. Uh, it's really, really, really bulky. I mean, I'm, I'm a War Total simp through and through, so I don't know why I didn't respect this thing as, as little as I did. But uh, we'll talk about that. We'll go through the team. Let's get started. Uh, we have the squad right here. Um, like I said before, I'm planning to just to take advantage of the, the net weaknesses here, right? So no Dragon Resists means Draco Meteors do ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, the combination of Hydreigon and Noivern are going to be where the Draco Meteors are coming from. Obviously, there's no other dragons on this squad. <laughs> um, and typically, I at least game one, I want to lead with Sableye plus Blacephalon or Noivern. Noivern's maybe a game two situation. Um, and that also will deny uh, speed control by just killing either of the speed control mods they bring. Uh, you'll see the calcs later on, but uh, things get pretty crazy with a helping hand boost. Um, and lastly, we have Orbeetle here as a slow mode counter trip typically. I don't want to let them get Trick Room up, but I don't have much besides Hydreigon that can really threaten throw in one hit, um, except for Orbeetle, so we're, we'll talk about that when we get to it. So first off, oh fuck, I forgot backgrounds for these guys. Um, so Mind Goblin, we have Sableye this week. Uh, I might have plagiarized my set from last week. <laughs> this is literally like the exact same set, I think, down to the EVs, everything. So uh, why, why Fix was not broken, right? Uh, so, the big thing was, last week I ran Helping, uh, I ran Sunny Day, this week I'm running Helping Hand, and the reason for that is because I don't want to set up the sun and then have to worry about hitting a 50% Hurricane. Hurricane's gonna miss enough as is with 70 accuracy, so I don't want to cut off an extra 20 for no reason when I can just run, uh, Helping Hand and boost, uh, my teammates up to ludicrous levels, and, uh, 
uses Sableye's move, but Cephalon gets a kill, Beast Boost activates, and then no more need for a 50% bonus, because you've got the, the built-in 50% bonus right there. Um, Faint is an amazing move, like I've talked about in the past. Super good priority, plus three is amazing, breaks Protects, breaks Sash, that's really all you need it for. Um, foul play is just for general damage. This team does not really have a good way of resisting it. It's not going to ever take KOs, but it'll it'll get some decent chip off. Uh, I do have Quash here because that is like the coolest move that Sableye learns, and it's one of the best ones. But unfortunately, K, the meta breaker, as usual, found a really good use of the move Crafty Shield, which sounds like he called his uncle to hack that into his game when he played, uh, I think he played James when he brought that out, so everybody knows that Crafty Shield's a move now, so I have to be prepared for it, so if, uh, if this thing is on the field, I have to, uh, I have to know that it might just cancel out Quash. Uh, thankfully, Helping Hand doesn't get affected by that, because it affects my side of the field, so, uh, that's the plan with Sableye, help pump my teammates up and break Sashes when I can. And the teammate I'll be looking to pump up is Blacephalon, again. Uh, this is a fast Blacephalon, super speed, uh, 196, I don't remember what it outspeeds, but, oh, that's what it does. Just gotta read ahead. Uh, it outspeeds the likely Scarfers on their team, which is Rotom and below. Um, it is exactly one point faster than uh, Timid Modem, and that's what you'd like to see, because that thing learns Shadow Ball and might be able to, like, kill it in one hit, even if it's just Timid. Um, so the plan is, use Helping Hand, kill everything with Mind Blown, or Shadow Ball, or Fire Blast. Uh, so we have the calcs here. If I have a Helping Hand Shadow Ball, I kill Kefagrigus full health no matter what. Unless it has the uh, Sash or the Ghost Berry. Uh, Mind Blown uh, almost always kills... Well, actually it does always kill a Tauros that's just fast with the Soul Vest. If they decide to bring that. Mind Blown always kills Tornadus full uh, max HP in the sun. Well, that's... Oh wait. Oh, fuck, I fucked that calc up. It's, it's 154 with Helping Hand and Sun. So if you take off one of those two, uh, you still get the Oko, if it's just max HP. I also do get a KO on Nido Queen if it's 252 HP and max attack, or special attack, I still get the Oko guaranteed. And the important thing here is why I have a couple EVs in uh, bulk with just the, like the 4 and the 4. I just barely get out of Oko range for a uh, uninvested War Turtle Hydro Pump, which it's good to have an option like that in a War Turtle. I brought Hydro Can in the past and and formats where you can use that. Oh shoot, my head's way too big. Oops. Um, so, War Turtle at least would have to dedicate two moves, like a Hydro Pump, then a Aqua Jet to take care of this thing, which is, uh, I'm fine with it's trying to target down this because I have lots of other scary mons. Um, shit, what I do? And then also we do have enough to live a uninvested Shadow Ball from Kapagagus, which is honestly a pretty real po possibility. Um, it does have Trick here. Trick is always a good option if you're running a Choice Mon. Where did my fucking face go? Oh, that's what my scroll bar was doing. I switched from the, the small head to no head feature. Look at that. Small head and no head. Um, so, yeah. If I if I have to use Trick, no Violet War Turtle, hell of a lot worse. Throw once its Flame Orb, I'd love to give it a Choice Scarf. And Kefagrigus, if I really have to, I can Trick a Scarf onto it and just ruin that thing's day. Ugh. So, up next, we have uh, Blacephalon on the lead to just deal huge amounts of spread damage. Then we have uh, Hydreigon this week, Hydralodon, to deal absolutely nuclear single target damage. Um, no Dragon Resist, no Fairy Coverage on, like, anything on this team is incredible. I think the only thing that learns a Fairy Coverage move is Jinx, which is Draining Kiss, which is 50 base power, and it has it also has Ice Beam. <laughs> so, don't really have to worry about that. Um, Hydreigon is, like, primed this week to just go bonkers if I can get it in a position where it's moving first and just taking uh, just taking KOs. So the plan here is, look at this, I always 2 KO a Hydralodon over two turns because I can live its Draco Meteor. So here's the thing, if it's Life Orb Hydralodon, I die in one hit to the Draco, but that means I kill it in one hit with the Draco. If it's Assault Vest, that means it cannot kill me and I can kill it in two hits. So I'm always coming out ahead of the Duraludon matchup. Um, I also get a 2KO guaranteed on a uh, fully, like, stacked offensive uh, Nita Queen. I don't know why I ran the calc with 1, 8, 0 HP, but still you can tell with 0 HP to 252, it's not going to reduce this by 20%. Um, and I also do get a guaranteed Oko on a max spideth throw if I get my nasty plot off, which I should be able to do. Apologies for sniffling, I've 
my allergies are fucking crazy today. Uh, and there are some important hits that I do live. I survive a body press, I live an ice beam from Jinx or Nita Queen, and I also, that's the thing I was talking about earlier, I do live the uh, Draco Meteor from Hydralidon, or Hy Duraludon. Jesus, too many similar names. Uh, assuming it has a non-boosting item, because if it's a boosting item, it doesn't even live to throw off the hit. Next we have Noivern, super fast and super strong. This thing outspeeds everything, most crucially Tornadus. Um, Hurricane does tons of damage to throw. I have Taunt as a backup if I need it. And one thing that's great is this thing puts out as much damage as Hydreigon thanks to the life orb. So I can get the same KOs that Hydreigon can. And I have Boomers. This is just a really fun, kind of crazy option that I haven't used yet. This does so much damage. This mod, the base power that the, um, the moves that this mod has this week are just off the charts. 130, 110, 140. <laughs> it's so cool. So uh, when in doubt, just Boom Burst and break sashes and do a good bit of damage, huh? Sounds like a plan to me. Uh, we have Bug Brain here, uh, returning from week one. Uh, we have Telepathy on it this week. Oh yeah, I have Telepathy on this and uh, Noivern, just so I can mind blow next to it. Um, and the plan here is I can choose to Helping Hand Telepathy. Lots of fun stuff. Um, and the reason why I have this Orbeetle set the way it is, is because that this team, kind of like mine, is actually primarily specially biased. At least the things that I, that I would imagine are coming this week. So... Tauros, physical, okay. Scyther, probably not coming, but physical. And then last uh, is throw, which this thing absolutely shits all over. Because um, the reason why I have this mod is pretty much only for the skill swap. You send in throw, assuming Trick Room's not up. I skill swap it to throw. Throw goes from having the guts boost of 150% uh, down to being affected by the burn, down to 50% power. So cutting its power by three times makes this... Uh, it absolutely just un impossible to kill this thing with throw. <laughs> uh, I do really like the idea of Calm Mind plus Psy Shock. The rest of my team is so specially biased. If I can deal damage to the physical side, that'll really help me out. So Psy Shock over Stored Power or Psychic, I think, was a good call this week. And again, Helping Hand gives me the power of friendship to uh, allow my teammates to reach their reach for the stars, you know? Uh, and last up, we have Spray Tan, the Doug Trio, a uh, new member to the squad. I brought everything except for um, Appleton and Spritzy yet. Maybe they'll show up next week. Who knows? Um, so essentially, this is just a, a little bit of insurance. Oh, shit. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even change out these wall rain calcs right here, so ignore those. But uh, this is just for good damage. There's no, there's uh, not much that resists uh, ground and rock in general, and there's sure as shit nothing on this team that does. So... Uh, just deal a lot of damage, throw out Earthquake if I can, throw out High Horsepower if I can't, and then Stone Edge if there's flying types. And last but not least, I can use Metal Sound. I have a lot of special attackers. If this thing isn't going to get the job done, I might as well help them get the job done. So overall, what I want to watch, cannot let them get their speed control up, which... Yeah, right, that, that makes a lot of sense. You don't want them to get the speed control up, typically. But in this case, I really, really, really cannot let them get throw moving before them before me. And I don't want Hydralidon, or... God damn, I'm always calling this thing the wrong name. Duraludon going first, or Anita Queen. So, kill Tornadus, target number one. Actually, well, that's probably target number two. Cofagrius is probably target number one. Um, and War Turtle is a pain in the ass. It can really just put a lot of hurt on my team, but I can't really do that much damage. Sure, it has Ice Beam, but uninvested Ice Beam from a War Turtle isn't going to do that much unless it's to Noivern, but even then, I bet Noivern probably lives. Uh, so, really, the only mod on my team that's super weak to it is Dugtrio, but Dugtrio is like maybe a game two kind of mod. So. Uh, that's really the plan, just kill the speed control mods and then clean up with my strong dragons. So, that's that. I will pause right here and uh, message your boy and see when we can go ahead and play. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, it's time. we got a music switch up too. Done Synthwave for the last couple videos, so we're going to change it up. Oh wait, shit, I gotta log in. I fucked that up. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Sweet. Um, hold up, I gotta put in my team. Switch that on over to Spike Myth, validate, to make sure we're good to go. And let's, let's go ahead and do this then, huh? Alright, War Turtle. No Cofagrigus, nice. Alright. Where's 
to my prep sheet. Okay, so we're gonna go make sure our teams are up to date. All right, that's pretty much exactly what I expected. And heat more showing up makes a lot of sense. Um, that will probably have sucker punch. Well, I see a lot of opportunities for uh, work or what do you call? Doug to do a lot of damage. Wow, bringing no fire weeks was a kind of a crazy call, honestly. So looking at this, I'd really imagine Tornadus or Tortle or something like that's going to be a lead. And I definitely want to bring Orb Beetle in the back. Orb Beetle really deals with a lot of these mons. Because uh, one of the problems with Duraludon, because I actually looked at drafting Duraludon, um, and I was actually probably going to pick it if it had come to me. But I'm pretty sure that was his round one. And I was really considering drafting uh, Duraludon because it has uh, some crazy defensive typing. But you look at the move pool, and it's actually like incredibly depressing. It has like electric for coverage, dragon steel, and that's about it, honestly. No ground move. No fighting move, no f uh, fire move. Fire is what really does that thing in. It'd be so much better if it had a fire move. Gets totally dunked on by steals, and uh, I mean, it, it can probably still kill Lolan Duck Trio with a uh, <laughs> with a, like a flash cannon or a steel beam or a Draco, but still, it'd be so much easier if you didn't have to use those moves against it, right? Oh, come on, dude. Accept my challenge. We're we playing a best of one then. Holy shit. All right. There we go. Uh, Spike Myth. Spike Myth Cup is the best format, honestly. Uh, anybody who disagrees with that is uh, on some some on some Dynamax shit. And we're rough. so in sync. So we're going to have Sableye. Alright. So, um, if we start off... I'm, like, pretty sure that Lycephalon dies to a, uh... What do you call Let's see. Petconomics Sucker punch. Oh, come on, dude. Petco, you can shower your pet Man, this is why I don't want to do fucking safe. YouTube videos that actually have a good amount of views on them. Alright, sucker punch. Oh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to cover that in the video, but I'm ev to actually survive a sucker punch. That's crazy. Alright, so I guess the question is if I want to risk if that has, uh, fuck. Ugh, oh, this is scary, dude. Sableye, that. Bring this in the back for sure. I'll bring Hydreigon. How's that sound? Alright. Easy peasy. Helping hand. And mind blown, baby. Well, do I actually need that? That's kind of stupid, right? 
Should I just fire blast it? I mean, that gets the kill too, right? Uh, 50... Yeah, I really probably shouldn't mind blown right here. But I would love to, it'd be so fun. And you probably won't expect it, right? Maybe it's Sash. Yeah, we'll try it. Helping hand. Aqua Jet is fine. Please don't be Sash. Holy shit! Alright, so that's AV then. Interesting. Not the uh, set I would have thought. Alright then. Sableye. Uh, that's... Cr I mean, let's just double check here, because that's like 100% Assault Fest, right? Alright, so it's Assault Vest with a l not much investment. And then if we go to Sableye, Faint should kill that, okay. I think we bring in Hydreigon here and try to get a nasty plot. We'll Faint and plot. Hopefully this doesn't yawn me. That would really suck. A Solfest Tornadus is something that uh, I was not expecting. I mean, it's nicer than having to deal with a... Uh, Sash and getting up Tailwind. Probably does have Icy Wind, so that's something I need to look out for. At least I think Tornadoes learns Icy Wind. Uh, does it? Alright, Nido Queen, it's fine. Please no Yawn. Aqua Jet, perfect! Alright, love to see it. Is that Scarf Queen? Why am I one speed slower than fucking modest Nido Queen? That's so dumb. about a fucking bonehead move. Let's just guarantee it. Uh, faint. Need a queen. Well, you know what? While we're here, we can divine some information. Sable eye faint. To need a queen does 6%, so that's probably a max. With some defensive investment. And interesting, interesting. Okay, okay. Weird, not what I was expecting. So then that means that if I go for a Dark Pulse, I would love to. Am I fucking insane? Mind Goblin, use Faint, need a Queen, lost 6%. The only way that can do 6 is if that's max, max. Okay. So we're gonna. Um, we'll quash here just to make sure. I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Fine by me. Haze. Good play. Good play. Need a queen again. Alright. So I can helping hand Draco there. I was having challenges with my old... Oh god, maybe it's fucking Scarf. Fees, penalties, so I broke up with Bad Bang. Alright, that's fine. Not too bad. Duraldon. Fine. Okay. Man, this fucking music. Alright, um... The plan here...
Let's see. I think I want to switch. Uh. Aqua Jet Haze. That's going to be tough to deal with with Haze. Duraladon. Let's see. Duraladon, if I'm minus one, and I'm helping hand, I'll still kill. Cool. Let's do it. Let's get that nice KO. Fine by me. Boom. All right, not enough. <laughs> All right, thanks for the stat reset. So, let's see here. My Draco did... 70... Wait, 86. So, I don't know, man. These calcs aren't making sense. I want to see these... I want to see this team afterwards. I really do like the Draco with uh, uh, the Haze set. That's pretty cool. More total. Probably just max. Max. Violite, 65. I bet a foul play would probably kill, right? Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to try that. Well, that's kind of stupid, right? I think Quash Dark Pulse is probably fine. Boom. Am I gonna die? Nice punch. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, now let's just beat up War Turtle, huh? Aqua Jet Haze Ice Punch. That's an interesting set, so it's physically... I don't know why. I don't know the merit of Ice Punch. I guess to just maximize your damage. That's not going to get there. Alright, super well played. Uh, I would definitely expect one of these two boys to come in the back this time. No, more ads, dude. Man, I got to play my videos. Uh, my, my soundtrack's about better, because this is fucking annoying, dude. Alrighty. Um, GLHF. All right. Just want to check this real quick. Can Dark Pulse kill? Does it not kill? Oh, sweet. Well, it does kill if it's Aqua Jet.
explore what I could do. All right, let's see here, let's see here, let's see here. Uh, Noivern. So my Draco will kill it. Maybe just max attack. Ice Punch, holy shit! All right, so Ice Punch will never KO me at full. We never said the last boo, so it's probably fake out. I'm going to try to bring Lycephalon with Noivern so that I can uh, turn one. Right. I'll trick. So, assuming it's Tornadus. Turn one, trick my scarf onto it, take its assault vest, take a hit from it, kill it with Noivern. And then. Uh, No, that's that's too that's too crazy, right? Maybe it's just the right, not kind of crazy. We're gonna bring high dragon. And once that thing is gone, Earthquake does so much damn. Well, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. I can't do that. I have to bring Bug Brain. Alright, I'm gonna do that, 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 and, uh. That. Fuck it. Throw. Interesting choice. I'm just gonna mind blown. Mind blown. And, uh. uh flame orb. Let's see. And then mind blown would do. Fucking helping hand, throwing off all my calc. So 52, and then that. So that's not enough. I really hope it's not fake out. I mean, it would make a lot of sense if it was fake out, though. hope, let's hope to God that we hit the hurricane. This is fucking nerve-wracking, man. Fuck! Alright, that sucks. Doink. 35, that's fucking nothing! Wow, dude. That's insane. How did that do so little damage? It 
what are that? It did 35%. How on earth? Is it seriously max spadef? What's, uh, what is the uh, issue? What am I not seeing? How did it do so little damage? It's probably something pretty obvious. Thirty-five percent to throw. Alright, so I don't know what the fuck I'm missing. I'll probably remember it later. So I guess in that case, let's see how much damage Nook Trio does. Ugh, throw so much HP. Aqua Jet probably does a fuck ton. Well, it's not that bad. Ugh, Jesus. We're gonna EQ Hurricane. I'm really, really perplexed as to why that throw took so little damage. Cephalon. Doubles. Mind blown. My switch. Okay, something died. <laughs> 49 is pretty nice. Ice Punch is fine. I'm probably going to lose this one. Uh, TBH. Yeah, if Tornadus is here, I'm fucked. Which it probably is. I don't see why it wouldn't come to this game. Okay, um... It's probably Scarf. Maybe not! Oh my god, wait. So no Tornadus makes me a very happy boy. Sure as fuck in a calm mind this turn, right? Or beetle. Need a queen. Still probably gonna lose. T uh, full transparency. Fire blast. Maybe just like fake out Orbeetle instead? I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. So I know it's just gonna get hazed away. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's not do that yet. Psyshock. So Psyshock does a Queen 25. So it's not max HP. So I have the Earthquake, but then the question is, do I Psyshock War Turtle? I think I do.
Maybe I don't. Earthquake and Psyshock need a queen for the two of KO, probably. Holy shit, that's a slow Nito Queen. Oh my gosh. I had to side shock Nito Queen, right? Even the only way they win here is if they ice punch and freeze me, which would make me fucking rip my hair out. Hobby Lobby is here to help you embrace the season. Hobby Lobby is here to help me embrace the season of gathering. Holy shit! Go buy stuff from Hobby Lobby, everybody. Uh. Yeah, I'd rather take a hit from War Turtle than Neo Queen. So really, the question is here. Uh, fuck, dude. Yeah, I have to attack Nidoqueen. The only win con here is to uh, Ice Punch Freeze me. Because that Psyshock, Psyshock did enough. Where I bet it's probably the... I mean, sure, I could low roll next time, but I really think... Well... No, it's probably Modest, right? Considering that the team doesn't have Trick Room, it's probably Modest with very little bulk investment. Because if I don't KO Nita Queen here this turn... Well, I guess if I take a hit... Okay, that's fine. Please don't freeze me. Please don't freeze me. Ugh, I really wanted to make that re, but... If I let Nita Queen hit me twice, I'm dead. Yes! Blink. Alright. Let's see. Is this going to be a 2 KO? Or a 1 hit KO? Damn, good game, my friend. Whew. That is not the team I was prepared to face. <laughs> oh, it's kind of scary. Feeling uh, a little jittery, but yeah, that was a really good game. I want to see the, those pastes, man. Some of those mons were like totally bulked the fuck out that I was I was not ready for that. So it's it's it really comes down to that throw. I'm going to feel like an absolute dumbass when I come back and watch this and realize, oh, throw was uh, the fire hydrant item that protects you from fire moves. So we'll see what happened there. But uh, yeah, great game. Super well played. Um took a while to team build for that, and you can definitely see this team is very versatile. Uh, he brought six that I was kind of expecting, but not in the way that I was expecting, so. Damn, this is a long-ass video, 43 minutes, so I'm gonna cut it off here. I'll see you all next week. Later.